It is less than three weeks to the November 16th governorship elections in Kogi and Bayelsa states. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is meeting with leaders of political parties in Abuja. The focus is on a free, fair and credible elections in the two states. Addressing the meeting, the INEC chairman warns its staff and political parties against violence and compromise. Electionary campaigns have already commenced. The commission once again appeals to political parties to speak to your candidates and supporters and to advise them against hate speech, inciting statements, fiscal attacks on opponents, destruction of each other's campaign materials and other sundry violations of the Electoral Act. Of course, voter harassment, voter intimidation, including vote buying at polling units, constitute violations of the Electoral Act. Prohibition of the use of mobile phones by voters in the voting cubicles is still in force. Indicates that the EFCC has secured the first conviction of a vote buyer in Gombe State. This is surely a welcome development. The electoral umpire also explained the reason behind the decision to combine the Kogi West senatorial rerun with a governorship election. President. Away from the Kogi and Bayelsa elections, the chairman of the Inter-Party Advisory Council criticizes calls to deregister some political parties that performed poorly during the last general election. If the, if, if the Senate continues to make this pronouncement on a day-in basis, it will seem as if they have authority to control what the Constitution has already given to the Commission, that they are independent in nature. The 2019 general election was severely criticised by observer groups for failing to meet what they describe as the threshold of free, fair and credible polls. Many hope that INEC and the political parties will put some of those criticisms into consideration and improve on the quality of the forthcoming elections in Kogi and Bayelsa states.